Hi guys, this video is for page 269 in le chapter 7, lesson 1 for the share and show portion of your assignment. So in on number 1 it says use the model to write an equation and this goes back to the very first thing that we did when we started talking about adding um, parts of a whole or fractions. And so we count the number of whole pe of pieces in the whole, one, two, three, four, five, and we count the parts that are shaded, one, two, three. So this will be three fifths plus one fifth equals one, two, three, four, four fifths. And sure enough, three plus one equals four. Now remember, we never, never, never change if the we never, never add these numer these denominators here. We only add numerators, and we can only add them when the denominators are exactly the same. And these are all pieces of the same whole. Number two. Now this one shows a subtraction, right? This shows where we are taking one away. So we have one, two out of three. Two is our numerator, two pieces shaded. There are three parts of the whole, so two thirds minus one third equals one third. Number three, one, two, three, four. Each of these fracts, each of these models are divided into fourths. And so this is one fourth plus one fourth equals two fourths, and if we were to simplify that, this can also be written as one half, and you can see that really easily right there, can't you? Number four shows one, two, three, four, five eighths shaded at the beginning and they are taking away or subtracting three eighths, which leaves two eighths shaded. And two eighths reduced to its lowest form is one fourth. Use the model to show to solve the equation. Three fourths minus one fourth equals two fourths. And remember, you can just say 3 minus 1 equals 2. As long as those denominators are the same. Remember, we never add nor subtract the denominators in fractions. Number 6. 5 sixths plus 1 sixth equals 6 sixths, which is also 1. One whole. Sean has 1 fifth of a cupcake and 1 fifth of a large cake. Are the wholes the same? No. One whole refers to a cupcake. And the other refers to a large cake. B, does the sum one-fifth plus two-fifths, I mean one-fifth plus one-fifth equal two-fifths, make sense in this situation? Explain. No, it does not make sense. You do not have two-fifths of a cupcake. And you do not have two fifths of a large cake. They're not the same thing, so you can't make um, you can't add those fractions together to make sense. When we're adding fractions, they all have to be part of a whole. Good job! I'll see you for our next lesson.